What's up, good people? How you doing? Welcome back to Stock Up with Larry Jones. Hey, we're the page of all, all ages and all races. We just concentrate on making money. Go ahead and join the family by hitting the like, subscribe, and notification bell. You've been rolling with me for a while. Just go ahead and hit the like button. It helps to keep me alive. Uh, this is like a midday uh, update, okay? Make sure not to fall for any spam. I will never, ever, ever ask you for any info. I don't talk about a WhatsApp, none of that, okay? Never send any money or crypto to anyone, not just on my page, but on anyone's page, right? I took some notes here, good people, and um, let me put these on so I could see. Productivity went down, meaning productivity went down for um, um, you know industries like your jobs. So the the amount of productivity that we are working on these jobs have went down, but wages went up. That's not good for the overall market. So we're we starting to track that as part of our key indicators about the you know the market, right? Um, I think the Feds will um, start tapering sooner which will cause um, interest rates to start going up sooner. I think they're going to start raising interest rates a little sooner than later. Some people think later, I think sooner. Uh, raising interest rates um, causes the bank stock to go up. And that's why I bought more Goldman Sachs on yesterday. Already had some Morgan Stanley. As a matter of fact, I sold a little Morgan Stanley to buy more Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs because of the, the P.E. ratio. All right. I think that Goldman Sachs is going to run more than Morgan Stanley. All right. So um, the S&P had the best two day gains, um, um, the best two day gains in in a while. OK. And then the Dow. Sorry, I'm, I'm stuff is popping up on my phone. <laughs> the Dow has regained all of its losses all of its losses from last week so that's crazy that's how um that's how crazy and fast this thing could turn around right so someone said i can always tell how the market is doing by the way you say what's up good people you are right sir <laughs> so i am i am uh, up today but who knows what tomorrow brings right so let's look at some things here um look at the Dow, the S&P, and uh, the NASDAQ, right? So this is the, uh, the Dow. This is the blue. As you can see, they're both. This is a one day. They are running up. Look at what they did over the last week. Look at these gaps right here, right here. Uh, let's look at the month, right? So we had this sell-off over the last month. It was a slow and steady sell-off on all three key indicators, right? All of these averages, they just, it was a slow sell-off. As a matter of fact, if you look as I, as I move this right here, look at that. The Dow was down 6%, 6.5%, NASDAQ 4.5%, the S&P down almost 2%. And look at how much they've they've come up. Look at how much they've come up today. The Dow is up 1.53%. The NASDAQ is up 3%. S&P is up almost 2%. Um, those are great one-day moves. Those are big one-day moves. Um, it's, it's, it's not like a stock where it's 30%. I mean, if, 30, if one of these moves 30%, th th that's like earth shattering for those of you that are new. Um, into the stock market. So, you know what? While we're looking here, um, let's just go right into crypto, right? Let's just go right into crypto and let's see what's going on with crypto. Um, I, I uh, uh, took some video with my cell phone and I just kind of like to do these comparison charts because it really helps out a lot. I think it's really cool. Look at this. Uh, let me blow that up. So if you see here, let me pause it. I want you guys to look at this. Look at Bitcoin, right? When it tanked, this wasn't the absolute bottom, but it was close to the bottom. Um, when it tanked, when we had that flash crash, 46,000. And this was just a little while ago, 51,000. 
You're talking about a $5,000 change if you have a full Bitcoin. So when it went down, it wasn't feeling good, good people. All right. And so Ethereum, look at here, 37 to 43. I mean, Ethereum has come back good. Cardano, 135 to 143. Solano, look at that. But look at Polygon. Polygon is, uh, is, is the sleeper right now. Um, I, I spoke about Polygon a few videos ago and how it is going to be a major mover right now. But look at this. It was down 24 percent and today is up 27.76. So let's just call that 25 and let's call this 28. Look at the difference. A um, dollar 77 to 248. You're talking about huge gains. Uh, Tezos. Look at that. Shiba Inu. Let's keep it going. Let's see if we can get both shibs up. So now look at Shiba Inu. Quad 036, Quad 038. All right. For a, um, uh, a micro coin that small, those are actually big moves. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, Crypto.com. Look at that. So these are good movements. These are these are good movers, good people. And um, um, if you sold at the bottom, I feel I feel sorry for you because I'm going to keep saying this. It is never, ever, ever, ever. Did I say ever? Ever a good idea to panic sale the whole market. Right. And there's certain things that ha that causes uh, um, um, you know, the markets to drop. But before you sell anything, good people, make sure you always see what happened. In most cases, should I say in a lot of cases, it's a knee jerk reaction, meaning it's an overreaction. And then the market comes back. So even if you're going to sell everything, at least at least wait until the knee jerk reaction is over and wait for it to come back. If this roller coaster ride is too much for you, remember, I got to say this on every video. Any, I'm sorry, anything I say is not NOT a suggestion to buy, hold, or sell a stock. And I'm telling you right now, if you're not into crypto, you need to download the link below Coinbase. It is a really, really simple uh, app to buy uh, uh, crypto in all cryptocurrencies, the altcoins, and the major coins, right? But if you want to swing trade crypto, you can also do that in the Weeble app. I have a link for it. Download it. You can literally put a dollar in the Weeble right now and they'll allow you to trade. And they're still going to give you uh, some free stock, two free stock worth up to twenty three hundred dollars. All right, good people. So make sure you check out all the links. This is just a mid day update on what's happening with the market. Market is looking good. Um, it's not going to continue to run like this. This would be, if it continued to run like this, this would literally be a bull market. So it's at the end of the year. You know, people are going to do be doing profit taking, but some uh, people are also going to be locking in some losses. I am going to be locking in a few losses at the end of the month. Uh, I only have a few uh, stock that I can lock losses on, but I may lock in some losses too, because when it's tax season, first quarter of next year, uh, you know, April, what is that? 15 or 16, whatever tax day is, then you could balance your losses versus your gains when you have to pay the capital gains tax when Caesar comes for his money. All right, good people, we're going to leave it right there. I may or may not see you tonight, but I just want to keep you guys informed. Love each and every one of you. I hope that your portfolios are looking good. Uh, leave me a comment if your portfolios are looking good. Hey, good people. Also, too, check this uh, video out that I'm going to leave here. And it is, if you're new, it is actually some of the tools that I use to help me be a better trader. All right? Live, love, laugh, and learn.